Let's face it, your more market is finite. Sooner or later, everyone who has a home business will be looking for more people to talk to about their product, services, or opportunity. So now your question is, where do I find all of these people? One of the biggest struggle that most of home business entrepreneurs face is to have more people to talk to, getting more leads for their business. So now the question is, how do I get more people to talk to me? Where do I find all of these people? Do I go to the coffee shop? Do I just go to the shopping mall and start talking to strangers on, in the shopping mall on the street? Well, that is a solution if you want to go to go that round, but how well do you think that will work out? When was the last time you go on the street and talk to people about your opportunity and people don't look at you like you're crazy? But today, because of the internet, we are connected with people from all over the world by a click of button. So it is time for you to actually start learning how to leverage online marketing. If you are not utilizing online marketing, utilizing social media to build your business, you're missing out. But how do you find people to talk to you online? Who do you talk to? Even with all of these cutting edge tools and the marketing training, it is not uncommon for a home business owner having difficult time to rise above the noisy internet world and stand out from the crowd so that they could ultimately turn the newly inquired audience into sales revenue and teammates. Hey, my name is Candice from CreateFreedomWithCandice.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you some simple tips that way you can turn your new leads, new subscriber, or your follower into a member of your new extended or digital warm market. This is the key of building a loyal audience of repeating customers or long-lasting teammates. And if you want to long last in this home business industry for the long haul, this is one of the things that you must do. So let's get right down to it. <music> Tips number one, be yourself. All the pitching marketing material, script, and the bad advice out there can really leave struggling home business owner running around the marketplace sounding like every other salesperson on the web. In order for people to truly know, like, and trust you, they have got to know you are who you are. Be real, be transparent, let them into your world and always communicate with them the normal way that you would communicate. When you're being real and being transparent and let people into your world, people could feel like they could relate to you. It will get them start engaging with you. And that will be the beginning of a relationship. Tips number two is to reply and respond. Here's the thing. A lot of people are already skeptical that all of this online marketing thing is not real. There's no real people to this business. And a lot of time, people are skeptical and they're truly thinking that all of these online marketers, their mission is to get the credit card out of their wallet. And remember, that's just a starting point and you know this is what you're up against. Make sure to promptly and kindly reply and respond to their communication via email or a messenger and perhaps sometime if it's possible to get on the phone with them. Let them know that there is a real person behind the business, behind this website behind this all of this internet stuff you will be surprised how important it is those little gestures that you make by giving them a quick call or responding their email promptly so be sure to reply and respond to your audience tips number three is to function with their best interests in mind have you ever walked into a retail store and you start seeing the attendance and the salesperson heading your way how do you feel you immediately start getting that resistant feeling don't you and when they come and ask you how can they help you, you probably say, I'm just browsing, hoping that they will leave you alone, right? If you see people as nothing more than just a potential sell for you, guess how they feel? They start keep building up the resistance wall. They start telling you that they're just browsing around. They're not going to respond to you. People really want to know that you have the best interest in mind. And you cannot just say it that you have the best interest in, in mind. You actually have to function as you do have their best interest in mind. So there you have it. Those are the three simple little tips that could actually turn an internet stranger into a warm market. Listen, I build my business online 100% of the time and follow those three little tips and I have built a massive warm market online. If you like this video, be sure to give me the thumbs up. Make sure you share this video to whomever you think it's going to help. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to do more of this type of training to help you out to build your business through online marketing. With that being said, guys, this is Candice from CreateFreedomWithCandice.com. I'll see you later.